Okay. I am going to spotlight a pair of jewel cichlids real quick. So, I got these jewel cichlids in a 54 gallon bow frame along with a uh, Cuban cichlid. So, I took the pair of jewel cichlids out of my 135 gallon tank because they were a terror to everyone. I'm talking about big fish, small fish. As soon as they started breeding, they just went crazy. And I put them in this little tank right here along with this Cuban cichlid just so they can breed and be in peace. And now they have the Cuban cichlid off in the corner. And it's what I expected. But uh, at least it's just one fish instead of a few fish. I mean, I have a 10-inch heart wedgie cichlid in there and they just totally wreaked havoc on this fish um so obviously they lay eggs and and bread i don't see any wigglers right now but the way they're acting i'm sure they're there somewhere because that's how they act when um wigglers or whatever are around or even fry so just giving them a moment to get it together. They had to come in and get accustomed to this tank and uh, accustomed, accustomed to the Cuban cichlid that was already in here. It's pretty much his tank. And now they have them backed off in the flower pot, in the strawberry pot. Rather. You know, I love how jewel cichlids get um, when they're breeding that deep red and those blues and yellows really just awesome man i think you know some of the fish that we neglect are or, or look past because they're just so abundant tend to be some of the coolest fish in the hobby in my opinion at least i really i really love seeing those red colors you know don't get me wrong guys there i keep a lot of fish there's a lot of fish that i enjoy keeping but to get the satisfaction of keeping a, a, a colorful fish that will breed for you at the drop of a dime is, is kind of what we do this for. You know, especially me, I love it. I love seeing it. And soon, either later today, later tomorrow, you'll see those wigglers or you'll see that fry, whatever it is. but. Right now, the females guarding, male going to look for food, vice versa. They take turns, bring food back. And right here, what you see is just a, a plethora of um, pothos roots. Also have some uh, purple creeping jenny in there, too, like just the roots. Just trying some out, testing it out, and uh, it seems to root up pretty well. Um, everything in this tank is pretty much thriving. Give y'all a quick look of the whole tank, and it's pretty glary. And there's the there's the Cuban right there, hidden in the strawberry pot. Cover you the the pothos and the creeping jenny. rest of the tank so they're just kind of posted up right here by the thermometer by the heater i mean just you know pretty much doing their thing every time i come close they come back to guard not really trying to get too much in their business i don't want to throw off what they got going on you know, if I stay too much over here, they'll just pick up and leave. Take their little fry with them, move somewhere else. Hey, buddy.
get a little close up right there. Notice the gill plate, the speckle, and then also the, the deep red for the male and both the female. They they look real similar, so it's it's really hard to tell them apart or distinguish them. Brilliant species right here. I'll go live. 